Good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor N. V. R. P. from Yashendra College of Engineering and Research Center, Yevla. Now, in a previous video, we already started the, the topic of course that is electrical measurement and instrumentation. The topic is oscilloscope. In a, up to that, up to that lecture, we already studied that. The definition of CRO, basic function of CRO, again block diagram of CRO. That is now in today's lecture uh, video or today's lecture, we are discussing the new topic that is measurement of amplitude, frequency, and phase difference and time period by using CRO. By using CRO, we can first. First, the amplitude of voltage measurement. The amplitude of voltage measurement. The amplitude of voltage measurement we can find out by using the waveform, which will be shown on the CRO screen. First, we can measure peak to peak voltage, that is VPP, from Peak voltage from positive side to negative side. Positive side to negative side. That's why we can find peak to peak voltage by using number of vertical division into volt per division. In that, there, suppose there is a CRO screen. This is your CRO screen. This is your sine wave. This is your volts per division knob. This is your voltage, and this is your millivolt. This is your volt, and this is your millivolt position is equal to number of vertical divisions in that. This is from zero to one, two, and two point two division. In upward direction and in downward direction, two point two. That is four point four division into the volt per division is zero point one volt. Zero point one volt. That is four point four division into zero point one volt per division. Then the total voltage, peak to peak voltage, is zero point forty four volt. That is 440 millivolt, and the peak voltage or the amplitude of the waveform is amplitude of waveform is VP is equal to VPP. That is the peak to peak voltage divided by two is equal to 440 millivolt divided by two. 440 millivolt divided by so that is 220 millivolt. This is your peak voltage, which will be found from the uh, CRO screen. Uh, now we can find the RMS voltage by using the formula that is VRMS is equal to VP, that is maximum voltage divided by root 2, that is 220 divided by root 2, that is, is equal to. 155.56 milli. This is your first case. Suppose the waveform is different and the volt per division is not be different. Suppose this myth, this we can take on. Then this is your. Uh, Direction. You can how to find the peak to peak voltage. This is from from this point to this point. This is your peak to peak voltage. This is your only amplitude from x axis to upward direction. Again, this is your time period which will require the which will which is required to complete the one cycle and how to find the frequency by using time period. Next, time period and frequency. 
the time period measurement which uh, which is equal to number of horizontal division number of horizontal division into time per division into time per division that is in that uh, we have form this is your 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total eight number of divisions which will be required to complete the one cycle into time per division now is 1 millisecond it is 1 millisecond then the time period it is equal to number of horizontal division that is eight division into time per division is 1 millisecond the product of that period time is equal to 8 millisecond is equal to 8 millisecond then how to find the frequency the frequency is nothing but the one upon time period all the reciprocal of time period and the frequency you can say that frequency is number of cycles required number of cycles completed in a one second in a one second means there are also the in the form of time period the it is the reciprocal of time period because the time period is the time required to complete one cycle but the frequency is the number of cycles completed in one second that is f is equal to 1 upon t is equal to 1 upon 8 millisecond then by calculating this yeah, frequency is equal to 125 hertz this will be this is a uh, how method to find the time period and frequency from the cro phase angle phase difference measurement for measurement of phase difference the this is the there are two wave forms are required there are two wave forms are required to find the phase difference to find the phase difference then the phase difference is nothing but the difference between the difference between the two phases that is the starting of the wave form starting of that wave form suppose this is uh, the first wave form will be which will be start from this point and second wave form that is red wave form start from this point then the difference between that two it is your phase difference and how to find this phase difference is phase difference in divisions into degree per division into degree per division in that the phase phase difference in division is 2 into degree per division is 360 divided by 8 then it is equal to 90 degree the phase difference between that two wave forms is 90 degree since 8 division is equal to 360 degree this will be find out by using the eight divisions to complete the one cycle suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 8 the eight division which is required to complete one cycle and one cycle is nothing but the 360 degree that will be also already known that that's why we can calculate from that the the degree per division is 360 divided by 8 and it is 45 degree then 2 into 45 is equal to 90 degree this is the phase difference between the two wave form phase difference between the two wave form this is the uh, means in that video or in that lecture we can we already uh, we study that Studied that the how to measure 
or how to find the amplitude, frequency, time period, and phase difference between the two wave pumps by using CR. By using CR. This is your uh, today's lecture. This is about the today's lecture. Okay. So thank you. Stop here.